Welcome to Earth Analog. Crunchy is trying his hand at this new space exploration game. It's just out in early access on Steam. Costs about 16 pounds, about 15 euros I would guess. I've tweaked some of the graphics. But let's get ready for a relaxing space adventure. 2093. Humanity has depleted all of Earth's resources. Large parts of the planet have become uninhabitable. 2105, or just after 9 o'clock. Under the Eurisco program, the United Nations sent out 10 reconnaissance ships to find a new Earth. 2115, none of the ships reported success, except for one. The Eurisco 4 at 21.11pm on the 24th of March 2115, while orbiting Proxima Centauri B, it transmitted the historic words, We found it. However, nothing has been heard from it since. And so in 2135, low on resources, a desperate UN made one final attempt. On the 11th of October 2135, it launched the Eurisco 11. 2135, its mission, travel to Proxima Centauri B to find out what happened to the Eurisco 4 and then, most importantly, find the Earth Analog. Looks nice. Well, all exciting stuff, eh? Day 1, orbiting Proxima Centauri B, three light years from Earth. I'm sorry, miss? Oh, looks like I'm opening my eyes or something. All systems ready. Oh, th 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 thank you. It's been eight years since I left Earth and my body feels sore from the long sleep. How fascinating it is to arrive at Proxima Centauri B. Discover that it's very Earth-like. But that's the point, surely. But is there any sign of life on Eurisco 4? I don't know. We're going to learn how to fly this thing. Don't, don't they have computers on this thing? In space, inertia makes it difficult to maneuver the ship. <laughs> okay, it works. Next up, let's try the retro thrusters. The roll thrusters. D, let's try press D. That works. Press and hold A to roll counterclockwise. Yeah, that's working, but I'm... Right, it's time for a flight dynamics test. Fly through each gate. Gate. Remember to make use of the flight indicator and retro thrusters. Oh my god, I'm just spinning around wildly. Is there nothing to go up or down with? Uh, well, the graphic's nice. While I'm spinning here, the uh, that planet looks nice. Is it an Earth analog? Right, that's... Adjusting the throttle. Ah! Hang on, hang on, yes, you can use the mouse. It never said you could use the mouse. Ah, right, well, that's a bit missing in the instructions, I think. So, all right, so I can roll left and right using A and D. Throttle up with W. Right, we're moving. Ah, yes, so if you use the mouse, that vector line shows you where you would go to. Ah, there's the things we have to fly through to. Fly through. And I presume the... The other thing is like an angle of attack on an aeroplane. So we'll need to roll this that way. That shows us that as Proxima Centauri B. So you see the slow thing moving up towards the box? The letterbox, that must be the angle of attack marker. Which would where the aircraft or the spaceship would go if we th like put the thrusters on so, but yeah i can use the mouse now slowly to guide it through the first little letterbox rectangle so there's the next one v must mean vector or something to do with the thrust oh yes that's the thrust speed forward thrusters off, so hull, so helium, oxygen, oh, helium, water and iron. Is that in the ship? 
Anyway, let's try and get through these things. So it doesn't seem as though there's any uh, head tracking, VR controllers. I've sped through this bit because it took so long to do this. You can see <laughs> and uh, speed it up a bit. So yeah, do that. Yep. Where? So yeah, this is pretty tricky, I must tell you. I don't know why they don't have a computer to help you do this. Maybe they do later in the game, I don't know. And that moon planet doesn't look very realistic, does it? The clouds of gas in the rest of the galaxy, wherever it is, looks pretty good. And that planet looks good. Proxima Centauri B, but yeah, that moon looks like a bit of lumpy cheese. Whoop, there's the sound of the thrusters going on. So, yeah, I didn't find it terribly easy, but there's a... Did it sound to say we've gone through something? So, it's a challenge. It's a relaxing game, but we're only relaxing if we get a handle on controlling the ship. Or else we're not, be gonna, we're not going to be going very far, I don't think. Well, I've got it centered. So this marker with the line and the circle is, you know, me pulling the mouse left and right. Right, I'm going to get through this. Looks like a triple crater there on that moon. We're going to get it. We've gone past the blooming thing. So yeah, like I say, this is in early access on Steam, 16 quid. I've had this on my wish list for a few months now. I'm always fond of a space exploration game. So I'm not making much use of the retro thrusters here. Yeah, I've got through that one, I think. Yeah, here we go, yeah. So that's through that one. This one's lined up a bit better. And that one, oh, it's a doddle now. Slightly to the left. Yeah, that's that one. Left, 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 left. Yeah, oh yes, we've done it. Whoop. Oh, I missed it. Have to go back. <laughs> Come on, go back. And round, and round, and down, round, round a bit more. I think I'm going to go past it again. Oh, no. Right. Closer, closer. Throttle off in the box. Come on, in the box, in the box. Oh, well, we're going around the circles again. No, we've got to stop it. Right, 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 right. Whoa, we plumbing missed it. Wow, this is tricky. It's very tricky. I mean, it's fun, but it's a bit of a chore. ever so slowly now. I, by George, I think I've done it. Right, get this last, get this last one. Speed it up, come on. See that marker there on the right of the screen shows you where you're c currently sort of like heading towards. You change that by moving the mouse indicator, which is the thing on the left, with the line. So once we get that... See, it's... I should be guided by the thing on the right saying, you're going to miss it. You see, ah, you see, now it's lined up to the middle of the square. Yes, I should use that more. That's what I should have been doing. Drag it round, 
Where's the mouse? Yes, Earth-based scans have indicated the presence of a large source of dark energy on this planet. My first task is to confirm this observation. Follow the path. Path? Entering the planet's atmosphere. You don't need to go through each gate. All right. With the main thrusters in full thrust mode, I will get there a lot faster. Yeah, but I want to see the thing first. Ah, there we are. Press E to toggle on full thrust mode. Come on, I need to get somewhere near the plumbing squares. Ah! Come on. I don't think I've got it through my thick head about the angle of attack marker. There it is. Much better. So I've pressed E to get full power on. Come on. Doesn't that look like Africa a bit? Whoa, much oh, too quick. Hull damaged. I think we're obviously within the atmosphere now. Let's right. So we're upside down. Let's turn round. Oh God. Ah. Wow. We're in the atmosphere now. Oh, that's a big island. Oh, you can see the sea. Yeah. Right. Ah, uh, here we are. We can see the island now. We're going like minus 30, so it's a bit like an aeroplane hood now, which is kind of more to my understanding. Throttle 30%, so minus 20. We're going to bring it up to minus 10, so we hopefully don't hit the water. So we hopefully don't hit the water. Reachable water found. Found dark energy seems to be present near the ocean surface. Dark energy, energy can be used for boosting. Flying near the ocean surface to charge ships boosted with dark energy. Minus 10. Up, up, up. Are you going to hit the... Whoa. It's now 50% charged. A bit more and... Oh no! Oh, oh dear. The end. Hull breached. Well, thanks for joining me. I enjoyed that really more soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.